the common misconception about these airplanes is that if you lose your engine, you're just going to fall out of the sky. That's not going to happen. It's only going to happen if the pilot's a f***ing idiot and doesn't maintain his airspeed or her airspeed. There's no sexism <laughs> in my cockpit. <laughs> do some gliding. The glide speed for this thing is 65 knots, so if we want to change that to 65 knots, that's what we're going to look to maintain when we've got no power. And that's going to keep us gliding at the best ratio, that's the most amount of lift that we can get with the least amount of drag. That's going to allow us to glide further to find a place to land, in theory. Alright, there's a nice golf course here. I'm going to pull the power all the way back. Do not be alarmed. The power's coming back, the nose is dropping. So we want to hold the nose up because hold we, we want to reduce the airspeed down to 65 knots. So you can feel you're having to put quite a lot of effort into yeah, pulling that yeah. back. Trip back. Give yourself some rolls of trim back. Trim yeah, there back. you go. Yeah, so you don't. Not that much. There you go. Take your hands off. Yeah, that's well trimmed. See if you can get it back to around 65 knots. So we're sitting at around 80, so you need to pull back just a little bit more pull to back. help slow oh. it down get to that best glide speed. Uh, you can trim back as necessary so you don't have to keep the, uh, the back pressure in there. All right, there. there you go. All right, there's 65. And then the nose is going to want to drop from you. There you go, but yeah. that, that's fine. Let it drop because we want to maintain that 65. Yeah, maybe a little bit more trim in there. Yeah. Either way, you get the point. You can see, with no power, this thing isn't falling out of the sky. We're just gliding along no, really yeah, nicely. We're just gliding. Nice and slow to a slow, inevitable death. <laughs> 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 well, look at this, perfect. You're around 65, you're yeah, pretty much at best good. glide speed. And now, if we were in a really emergency situation, uh, you'd look for the best place to land, which is a golf course down here, there's a field down here. Yeah, yeah. And you'd aim to land over there and, and whatever, but. All I wanted to do is just show you how this plane glides and that you can maintain an airspeed of 65 knots, which you can do. So we're going to recover this now. We've got a lot of back trim in there, right? So if we apply full power now, the nose is just going to buck up on us. So yeah. just be prepared for that, okay? So apply full power. So go full power? Go for it. Go for it? Do it. So the nose is rising. Yeah. You're going to have to stop that from rising on you because we don't want to stall it. Go put so. the trim. Well, you, you can just stop it for now because we want to go full power on that. Go all the way in. All the way, all the way, all the way. I want you to feel that nose rise. There you go. So that nose has risen yeah. quite a lot. So now you can get your trim in there and kind of help yourself. There you go. And then again, we can go back to that climb of 79. How do you feel? No good? Good. Yeah. Yeah. I've shot myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are we in Claremont already? Yeah. Oh. Citrus Tower. Yeah. <laughs> well, well done, Gareth. Thank you. <laughs> I've got the flight controls. Okay. okay. So, so, I'm just going to show you, because you, at the moment, this is, this is not in any way a bad thing. Okay. Uh, very timid with everything. Okay? Yeah. That's the way you are at first. You'll you'll learn to... to kind of maybe... Not manhandle it, but make it do what you want it to do, you know. <laughs> manhandle it. <laughs> yeah. Like you do with Gareth on a nightly basis. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to show you those things. So we're already at 2,000 feet, so I'm in a turn now. I'm keeping in some back pressure to help me with the turn. In a turn, you can look at the horizon as well. Wherever it's cutting on the dashboard that's keeping me level, that's where I want to keep the horizon cutting. It's probably cutting somewhere up here yeah. for you. Um, so, all right, we're going to level off here. I'm looking at that horizon. And yeah. I'm just feeling what I need with this thing, or with the yoke. I'm just feeling that. Oh, okay. okay. That's pretty, pretty trimmed out. I'm still needing a little bit of back pressure to maintain that same distance of the horizon. It's, it's pretty good. Right. So it's pretty good there. All right. So if we wanted to descend, when when you came in for a descent, you're very slow with this thing. We can afford to pull it back a little bit, a little bit quicker, and then we get the descent going. Now instead of just letting the plane drop, kind of just hold it a little bit and let that airspeed increase. Uh, let the descent rate come in. You can see it's quite a nice shallow descent, but it's doing the job. You yeah. know, we're getting a, a good descent rate going. Okay. And then just for sh** and giggles to level off right here, I would pull up at the same time, pull up. I'm adding some power in there. See how quickly that power came in? 
Yeah. It's not like a, a, a forceful push in on the throttle, but it's, you know, it's do what I want you to do, you know, get in okay. there, there you go, it's set. So now, I'm back at the same power setting, again, in theory, I shouldn't have to trim anything, which I pretty much don't. Yeah. There it is. If we want to climb, full power, no f***ing around with the throttle, just in we go, and we're going up. How's that then? Is that good? Yeah, very good. Okay to go back? Yeah, yeah well yeah. done. Yeah. There we go. Good stuff. Yeah, that, <laughs> that was awesome. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was Rachel. Look, look at that. <laughs> I, think, I think you do need to show her a stall. Oh, you want to see a stall? <laughs> oh, here we go. Let's go through the, the theory. Let's go through the theory of a stall. <laughs> All a stall is, is just a reduction in airflow over the wing. It's not a complete reduction. There's still lift being produced. That's a common misconception. You think that there's no lift going over the wings, which is we're falling out of the sky. Yeah. Oh, that's not yeah. the case. Okay. There's not enough lift to hold the wing up. That's that's all it's that's all it's doing. To recover, what do we have to do? We have to get the airflow back over the wing. How do we make that happen? Put throttle in. Throttle in, right? Yeah. What's the other thing that you might want to do in that situation to increase airflow? So you um. Push forward, push forward, push forward, forward, push forward. Remember, if you pull back, you're going to reduce uh, airspeed. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. want to increase we'll airspeed, increase. right? So, okay. so yeah, there you go. Um, so that's that's all it is. Once the aircraft stalls, and you'll feel it, you might feel it shake, and you'll feel the nose drop. But that's a good thing because we want to increase that airflow. That's perfectly normal. And we're going to do it in the landing configuration, which is the easier configuration to do it in. We're going to slow it down. We're going to add 10 degrees of flaps. When you add flaps. See the nose want to rise, yeah. so you got to kind of manage the aircraft to stop it wanting to rise on you. Add a second notch of flaps, because we're coming into land, we want to slow this plane down. And we're basically just simulating that we're coming into land and as we flare, we flare too high and we stall. Full flaps, getting to our approach speed, about 65, 63, there it is. I'm going to simulate a descent to the runway. Nice easy descent, there it is. I'm going to go power off. This is where the stall happens, because we're increasing angle of attack. That's all we're doing, increasing angle of attack. Nice and easy. Here, that's the stall one, and that's telling you, hey, listen. Hey, you're uh, going to stall. Yeah, you're going to stall. And there you go. See how the nose goes away on its yeah. own. Add full power, nice and easy, and slowly bring that nose up, and nobody died. How many feet did we lose? 100 feet. Uh, pretty good. Uh, yeah. There you go. That was because of the slow recovery, because I was illustrating. Yeah. So, but there you go, that's a stall. Simple as that. Executive Tower, Sky 71 Bravo Golf, uh, information Sierra about uh, 12 miles to the northwest in Bennett Fulston. Number 71 uh, Bravo Golf, Executive Tower, enter left base on 7, continue. Left base for 7, continue. One Bravo. Uh, Scott, one Bravo Golf, my apologies. Did you say full stop or you want touch and goes? Ah, uh, we're going to be full stopping it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's so funny, that controller yeah, is. such a nice guy. <laughs> see ya, see ya. No bullshit. That was a really good first session. Wasn't bad, was it? Uh, yeah, I'm like. surprised. Well, that was a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. Yay. Well, she was going to go to the Orlando Library and go on their little flight simulator. I said, no, I can do you one better. There you go, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, can, we can top that. Actually, you know what, though? The flight simulator helps a lot if you go on that and practice on that. Practice, yeah. It, uh, it does help a lot. Alrighty. So, this is where speed or airspeed becomes king again. So, set the power at about. 16, 1700 RPM, we're going in second notch of flaps, so I'm going to have to trim down because the nose wants to come up. The landing is all about a nice nose low pitch attitude. Got the runway in sight. And this is where you need to start bringing that uh, throttle back, adding the flaps. Alright, so we're slowing that airspeed down, it's nice and calm, I hope. We check. Wind uh, 140 uh, Yeah, so it's only three knot wind, so it shouldn't be uh, too bad of a landing. But you can see, I'm keeping the nose down towards the runway. There's none of this sh going on. Like yeah, That's what everybody okay. likes to do. That's going to kill I'll someone. Keep nose out. Exactly. So 65, there it is. If you need power, if you, if you say start to drop, like if I pull the power back with the same um, pitch action, you feel the, the aircraft drop, you stop that with the power. So it stops it immediately. So the airspeed's fine. That's the last time I'm looking at the airspeed. Now I'm just focusing on the runway. Beautiful pitch attitude. I'm transitioning my eyes to the end of the runway. Power is coming on now. I'm just going to hold the nose up to the end of the runway. Keep your eyes up there. Hold the nose to it. You should have a nice grease landing. That's it. Though you land an airplane every time. Nose to the end of the runway. A lot of people... Well, everybody, and even I still do it from time to time now. You keep your eyes right in front of the nose on the runway here, um, and you, you slam into it. Scott, one Bravo Golf, ground point four, welcome back. 
Ground point four, thanks. Brilliant. How do you feel? Feel good? I feel awesome. Yeah. I I think that was I think I did a really you, great job. Yeah, you did. Yeah, if I do change it myself. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. I thought I was gonna be terrible, but So did we. I was <laughs> <laughs> you think it's something that you might wanna do? Yes. Yeah. Definitely. A new pilot is born. On this channel, I'm taking credit. <laughs> All the credit is <laughs> Hang on, I arranged this. <laughs> <laughs> You're just the money man. <laughs> I know, yeah. <laughs> don't get me wrong, there will be times where it's like you come away from a flight and it's like, f I don't want to do that again because I was <laughs> But. Yeah, yeah you you're going to have like bad days. Yeah. Yeah. The same thing with everything. Yeah. You know? Yeah. There was one time where I was doing, uh, I was trying to nail, uh, I think I was power off 180s and I couldn't nail them. And yeah. um, I just literally started crying. Like, just tears in my eyes, the amount of anger that I felt. And on that bombshell, it's time to end. Oh. Good night. <laughs>